What's up, everybody? It's your boy Toby T coming at you. Uh, this is a video blog, and uh, got some questions here from my man Carl Thomas. Uh, he wants to know how often do I clean my bass? Well, it depends on how much I'm playing. Right now, uh, I'm playing like five nights a week. So usually if I'm playing like consistently uh, five nights in a week or six nights a week, which is most of the time, I'll try to clean my bass every two to three days. Basically, more, more than anything else, just, uh, you know, to get the strings back popping, as you will see in my old uh, previous blog about strings, is uh, because for me, uh, as much as I sweat, uh, usually by the third night, my strings are starting to die out because of the sweat. So I tend to take them off, soak them in the methyl hydrate that I mentioned in the previous blog, and just wipe my bass down with a, you know, a clean cloth and maybe a, just a little bit of polish just to take any, you know, dirty oil off, off of everything. So it's every two or three days, uh, Carl. Yeah, I, I tend to do that. And, you know, put the strings back on out of the methyl hydrate and they pop. They sound like they're brand new again. Yeah, okay. Answer your question, man. I got John Middleton, and he just sent me, what's up? <laughs> so, what's up, John? What up, boy? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, so I guess that that means what am I doing? What's going on? What's cracking? What's popping? Uh, basically, I'm I'm gigging in Dubai and uh, gigs going good. We finally got some new subs for the sound system, so you know the sound system is finally so sounding decent now. Uh, on on the uh, gear tip. Uh, I'm still waiting on my uh, bass from uh, Pavel Musical Instruments, my uh, uh, which will, wh what's going to be my signature series bass. Uh, there were some problems with the uh, supply and for pickups, so uh, Pavel, being the guy that he is, called uh, Bill Bartolini, the owner of Bartolini, who's soon to retire. And asked for a custom set of pickups for my bass. Custom wrong set of, of pickups for my bass. It's a six string bass, so you just can't, you know, buy off the shelf stuff for uh, uh, certain things. And besides, I wanted pickups with no exposed pole pieces because of a special secret that's going to be on the bass. I don't want exposed pole pieces on, on the magnets, you know what I'm saying? So we're waiting on those, which should be. Uh, any day now, any any week now, uh, there's a another bass going down. It's a vintage, uh, a jazz vintage five. That's that's going to be uh, my main workhorse for rehearsals and for smaller gigs. That's in the works, and that should be done sometime within the next two weeks to a month. Uh, given a few lessons. Not so much lessons, just, you know, uh, I, I'm just glad to pass on any knowledge that I have that, I, that can help other players, you know, because, like, when I started, uh, it's like I, I, I was around a bunch of older cats and nobody really would help me. Nobody really taught me. Nobody really put in the time. So, you know, basically I had to teach myself. And uh, I could have went the other way with that one and became like like them and like you know uh you know but uh, that's not my nature man it's like people come up to me guys come up to me here all the time and it's like anything you want to know from me if if, if you know if I'll, I'll help you with anything you want to know man i mean if you ask me how to do something i'll sit down and i'll show you some you know some practice drills for it or uh, i'll you know I'd be more than glad to answer any question that you have for me if, if you see me. So, basically, that's it. A couple of guys here asked me about EQs and about preamp settings, so I was more than happy to answer them about that. One guy wanted to, you know, know some slap techniques, so I showed him some, some 
basic beginner exercises for that. So, yeah, man, I mean, you know, nobody taught me. I had to teach myself. And so I'm more than happy to pass, pass all that on to anybody who wants to know. Other than that, everything's good. I just finished a rehearsal, you know, a three-hour rehearsal. And uh, I'm going to chill for a minute, and then I'm going to have some dinner. And then we're going to, you know, get it on and cracking for tonight. It's Thursday night, the busiest night in the world here at Max Bar in City Max Hotel in Dubai. And it's going to be crazy tonight, so I need to give me some rest. As you can see, I'm a little tired. So, love, peace, and chicken grease. We'll catch y'all next time. Video blog. I'm sorry I was late with this one, but, you know, been kind of busy. So, love, peace, and chicken grease. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Peace.